this is uh, Dylan from from Band Bros. I'm doing a uh, Harry Deck profile. So yeah, let's just get to it. So we're gonna start out with uh, Cat in High Boots or Cat Knight in High Boots. Um, his skill is GB1. When this unit is placed on Bang, when a uh, when another unit is placed on Vanguard, so for example, if you're striding, you call this unit out, and then its skill, you can call any card except for Cat Knight Boots out of the soul. So that's good for combos of just anything, just calling another unit out, so that's good. And it's not a forerunner, it's, uh, it stays in the soul, and it has Magia. So that's, it's Magia, it's a Magia built deck, so that's very good, and it stays in the soul. So yeah, it's not a forerunner. So next we're gonna get to uh, the Great Threes. You're gonna want to run uh, Mass Phantom Harry for that. Oh, right. Sorry. Yeah. Four of Mass Phantom Harry. Um, its skill is uh, when your rear guard is put into the soul. Um, this is just the GB2, the Vanguard skill only. Counter Blast One. When a rear guard is put into your soul, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose a Grade Three card with Magic ability from the soul and put it to your hand. So that's only when it's on the Vanguard. And um, its stride skill, Soul Blast One, call a Magia from the Soul. So that's that's pretty good. It's a, it, I consider this one to be a backup. I, you, you're gonna always wanna run uh, the original uh, Mass Magician Harry because it's just, it, it sets up for powerful combos. Um, it's it's really good and it also has a, a little better of a Vanguard skill if you can't stride. It's it's call unit out and uh, this unit gets plus 5k and uh, that unit gets plus 3, 3k that you called out. Um, and its stride skill is counter blast one, soul charge one, so it helps the soul this one is a soul blast, so it's you know it's it's kind of hurting the soul here and there, but it's whatever. Um, and you call unit out, and it gets plus 5k, so that's pretty good. Want to run for that one? Uh, next, grade twos. So I have two Lappin, but you're gonna want to run four because her skill is GB2. Um, her uh, top skill, her act is uh, GB2, counter blast one, and you, uh, if you have a Vanguard with Harry, you call a unit uh, from your soul anyway. And her uh, auto ability is when this unit attacks, and it's not GB, so you can do it, you know, you can do it, you know, when you're on a grade two. Um, you, when it attacks, you soul charge one, and if it has Magia, uh, it gets plus five or three K. But if it doesn't, it only gets two. So either way, you're gonna get power. So that's pretty good. You're gonna run four of that one, and it has Magia, so that the deck is built around that. Um, you're gonna want to run, uh, run one of uh, Crescent or um, Crescent Moon Juggler. He. Um, it's pretty much when you call from the souls, counter blast one, soul blast one, call unit out, give it plus 2k, and then soul charge one. It's it's good, I only run it because of Magia. Because, uh, I'll get to that later, but it's it's good for the deck. The key word for that. Uh, next. Uh, now, yes, the deck is run uh, around Magia, but uh, Dark Side Princess, the way I play the deck, I use her anyway. You need to use her, you need to get her out, you to put her in the soul because she is just the combo queen. She's freaking amazing. Whenever she attacks the Vanguard, she gets plus 5k, and when she's done attacking the Vanguard, she goes right to the soul. So for cards later on that um, call cards out, that card is already in the soul. So that's that's a good combo. But it has to attack the Vanguard. You cannot attack a rear guard and, it's, and expect it to go into the soul. So just keep that in mind. So, but that this is a great card. You need to always have that in the soul. Uh, next is uh, card dealer. That's a big the big word, but I'll card dealer right there this card right here when it is boosted you counter blast one and it does not have to hit it's only when it's boosted you counter blast one and you call a unit out and you're, you're right you're right you're gonna call dark side princess out it's Jacqueline by the way oh Jacqueline this is a good guy right here. so you're gonna want to use that as a combo because you're just gonna call her out pretty much yeah we can't read Next, I am going to. Oh, and then there's this, this little guy right here. His name is uh, Flying. Um, what is that word? Flying Perryton. P 
Perry Chin. That is a name. Um, pretty much, you just soul charge one when he's called, calling unit behind him. That's pretty much it. And he has Magia, so just remember that. That's the only reason I usually use him, but it's a good skill too. Now, grade ones, uh, Masquerade Bunny. You're gonna run four of her because you're you're not really gonna want to, you know, have the backup Harry on uh, Phantom. So you're gonna want to run four of her so that you can get masked uh, uh, the other one. So run four of the Stride Fodder. Uh, next, um, Cutie Paratrooper. Her skill is uh, when this unit is called from the soul, and she also has Magia, so that's very helpful. Uh, when this unit is called from the soul, soul charge one, so that's helping your soul, and you call a unit out, and it gets plus 5k. So the combo that I usually do is I'll call her out, I'll soul charge one, oh my bad, I'll soul charge one, and then I'll just call Dark Side Princess out of the soul, and this is a solid already 26k call. It's already 26. That is no power given from a trigger or anything. It's already 26. So that's very good. So you're gonna run four of her. Uh, next, uh, that's it. for the grade twos. That's it. Uh, and then, or for the grade ones, my bad. Uh, and then you're going to wanna run two of her. I have two of her. Um, I run. These are the other perfect guards I have. Disregard this one, and you're gonna want to run two of each of these. This unit, when uh, so say like they're having a card that. And you can't guard from the hand. What she does when you guard, um, most perfect guards, you have to have one already in the, the damage, or I mean, my bad, the drop zone. With her, it's just a DB, GB2. So you soul blast one, you call a unit from the, the soul to the, the rear guard. So I usually do that for intercepting. So that's very helpful. And then she is just, uh, if the copy of her is in the uh, drop zone, counter flip one. So that's very helpful. So I run two of uh, both of those, two of those of each. And then this unit, uh, I run one. He has Magia, so that's why I only run one. But his skill is uh, when this unit is placed in rear guard from hand. If you have a Vanguard with Harry in its name, choose a grade two or greater from your soul and call it to the rear guard. So yeah, you're gonna want to call Dark Side Princess, yeah, pretty much, <laughs> in the same call as this unit. Um, and then when it's soul charged, this isn't. Uh, you just soul when it's put into the soul at the end of the turn, you soul charge one. So that's very helpful for. That's just very helpful for the soul. Uh, now grade zeros. Um, you're gonna want to run four of the heal. This one when it is uh, oh so when this unit is put into uh, effect by the G Guardian um, uh, Cloth Hard uh, you put him to the soul. So that's very helpful for Cloth Hard. I will get to his uh, skill later, but I'll it's good. So next for uh, you're gonna want to run a bunch of crits in this deck. I use heals, four heals, and the rest are crits. So you want to run four of Dark Side Swordmaster. You know, it's the go to the soul, draw one, give the Vanguard plus 5k. Now the good part about this is this card is always going to be in the soul. So you can call it out and keep doing that skill. So that's very helpful. Um, next, um, you're just going to want to run Nightmare Doll, it's crit, um, two of uh, Silverthorn, Barking Dragon, and then um, just because it's an extra uh, 3k to the soul, it's very helpful. You're probably going to have to run four of him because it's just a, another critical for Pale Moon and it has an effect. So you might want to just use that. So four of him. So that and then on to the G zone. You're going to want to run. I usually first stride now that it's come out, Masquerade Master Harry, because um, his old one, you know, it was very, it was GB three, and it was a counter blast of two, and you had to wait, and it was, it was. If you didn't win that turn, you helped your opponent because you put cards into his soul, and you pretty much. Like you wasted two, you know, counter blasts, and it's 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 kind of hard. But uh, with this one, it's it's new, and uh, its skill is you counter blast one, choose a face down card with the same number, same name as this one when this unit attacks. Uh, you choose two cards, uh, you put it into the soul, and then you call three out. And then uh, when you call three out, each of those units that have Magia 
for how many cards are flipped up of him, uh, of him, they all get uh, 3K. So that'll stack because you want to keep using him. And that's why I use Magid. So remember that. Uh, next, um, if I don't first stride him, I usually first stride Amanda. Now I'm, I know Amanda came with a trial, but I love her so much because of the combo I can do with Dark Side. Now if she hits, you Soul Charge one, you call a unit out, and that unit gets plus 2k, and that's just another combo with um, Dark Side. So that's that's why I use it. Uh, next, uh, Millward, her skill is when this unit attacks, or no, I bet it's an act, you Soul Blast one, you call two units out, they both get 4k, and for how many, uh, oh, and you flip her, so for how many of uh, Millward there are in the G-Zone flipped up, you give this effect to one of your units, any of the units. When that unit attacks, and if it hits, call another unit out. So that's good for, um, you guess it, Dark Side Princess. Uh, so next, um, uh, Lu uh, Lunatic Dragon, he's a, uh, it's a decent card for if your opponent might have, if you know that he has a small hand, and uh, you know he may not have counter, bla um, I mean, my bad, uh, perfect guards. His skill is uh, every unit that's called from the soul uh, gets 2k, and if it's just GB3, he gets a crit. So that's good for um, that situational, um, you know, time. Um, next is I use uh, one one Fairfield. She's pretty good. You have to get the SP one though. That's about it. You get that. Uh, her skill is um, Counterblast two. Choose a card from your drop zone and re and your deck. Oh my bad. And your soul and return them to the deck. So that's good for you know putting a trigger in there or whatever. Um, choose a card from your soul. Call it to rear guard and that unit gets plus 10k plus a crit. Uh, and you can have this also, you can Soul Blast 2, and this unit gets 5k, and it gets resist. So that's pretty good, it's pretty good. And uh, yeah, and then there's the GB8. The GB8 is broken as heck. If you ever go into it, I'm pretty sure you're gonna win, because it's crazy. It's um, when this unit attacks a Vanguard, choose up to five of your uh, five cards from the soul. So after you've done the onslaught of abilities that you can do with Dark Side and its helpers and stuff, you do this effect. So when this unit attacks, um, you choose five cards from the soul, you call them all out, they all get 5k, and she turns them all into Abyss Dragons. So her red text is this unit gets 10k for each Abyss Dragon. So she's getting plus 50k. So yeah, good luck, you know, guarding that or whatever. Um, uh, so G guards. Now the the thing I was gonna mention with him is his skill is uh, you know you when you use him you flip another G guard. So with his skill you have to have a zero through three in your soul. So if you have that and the you know the requirement is met, he gets plus 15k. So that's a, you know that's a good uh, 50k shield. So that's very good. And uh, so that's why the G guard helps because he goes right to the soul. So if you didn't have a grade zero in there to have that effect go off, it's good for it. And then I always have a uh, fun funerval. He uh, his skill is you look at the top three, you pick one of those, you put it into the soul. If it was a one or higher, it gets plus five k. So it's helping your soul and it's a great shield. And oh my bad. And then you're gonna want to run, uh, you know, two of him also and two of him. So oh, sorry, I'll just up two of him and two of that pretty man right there. And next, um, yeah, there's dust. So yeah, that guy's pretty. Uh, his skill is Counterblast 2. Um, all of your opponent's uh, units go to grade 1 and they lose, and their power goes to grade 1. So, you know, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and if their uh, damage is at 4, they, uh, or more take, or, or less, take a damage. So that's very helpful. And uh, yeah, he's a ZR, so that's good. This has been my deck profile for Harry. Yeah.